Hi guys, Logan Phillips here. This video is gonna go over the 16 week concepts class pacing schedule. All right, this is an important video in the fact that it gives you exactly what you need to be doing every week to stay caught up in the class so that you can successfully complete it with a high grade. All right, you will find the pacing schedule on your Blackboard website underneath the first assignment where it says syllabus and then pacing schedules right there. You need to download this, print it off, keep it with you, put it in your calendar, put it into uh, your calendars on your phones, whatever you need so that to do so that you can keep this pacing schedule together. All right, I'm gonna open it up here. This is our 16 week pacing schedule. Now the first thing you should see is your total course por points is 1,310 possible points in this class. Now the week zero is everything leading up to that first week, including some things excuse me, that are due in the first week. Now the syllabus quiz and the introduction and the login to SimNet all must be completed by the end of the first week. That's August 28th, 2016. If you do not complete those three things, you're gonna be given a WN for my class and withdrawn from my roles. And you will not be able to re-enroll because enrollment will have already closed. So make sure you get online, do your introduction, do your syllabus quiz and log into SimNet. Now you can see the class is broken down into basically two pieces. We have the theory piece and the application side. So for every week we are doing some theory and some application. The first application or the first week we're gonna go over the syllabuses, uh, we're gonna look at the Windows 10's concepts, uh, basic vocabulary, directions, uh, we're gonna look at your file management, uh, just a basic overview of to get us started in the class. By the end of week two, we're going to be getting into our concepts, we're going to start Microsoft Word, and we're going to deal, dig into our actual coursework. Now you can see on week two is where it starts getting interesting. You have sim books that are due, you have sim paths that are due, you have guided independence and a lecture. Now for my online students, the lecture is a video that will be posted online. If you watch the video and do the assignment with it, you'll get two points. If you don't watch the video, you're missing the two points. It's not a big deal, it's not required. Just know that all my lecture videos and the combined assignment is worth two points. Now, sim books are only worth 10 points. Sim paths are worth 15 points. So make sure you're doing your sim paths. They are worth more than the sim books. The guided project is only worth 10 points because I'm walking you through it step by step. The independent projects are worth 15 points. So every assignment has what the assignment is, where you'll find it on Simba or SimNet, the point value, and the suggested date that I tell you it should be done by. Now notice that everything comes due on the Sunday of that week. So our week starts on Monday, ends on Sunday. And then that is true all the way down until the final Tuesday of class. And for our class, it's December 13th, 2016. The second it becomes Wednesday, class is over, no assignments will be accepted, anything not turned in will be a zero. So this is the most important date for this whole class. 12-13, 2016, at 11.59 and 59 seconds p.m., the second it becomes Wednesday, class is over. Now I will tell you, if you wait to the last week and the last day, everyone else is going to be doing that as well. And it has a habit of overloading the SimNet environment. So if at nine o'clock at night, you log on to SimNet for the first time on 1213 to try to do your three final exams, which are worth 100 points, 25 points, and 25 points, it will log down, you'll miss it, and the second it becomes Wednesday, you're gonna get whatever grade you received. So we'll log in early, log in often, and get these works done. Now you can see everything on the left side tells you what week. Everything on the right side tells you the end date of that week. In the middle, you have the, or the title of the assignment. Then on this next column, the type, this tells you what type you'll find on SimNet itself. So when you go into SimNet and you click on SimBooks, it will show you Intro to Chapter 10, Office 2016, File Management. If you click on SimPaths, it will show you Office 2016, uh, Concepts Word Chapter 3. That is the SimPath. So you have the location, the name, the points, the due date, and the week that we're in. Now, every class in college, you can expect a one-to-one -one environment. That means for every one hour inside the classroom as a student, you're expected to spend one hour outside the classroom. So for every class, this is a three-hour class, I am gonna teach you for three hours. 
you are supposed to work for three hours every week. That means a total of six hours in a week or a total of 96 hours is what this course should take you over the next four months. Now I have seen students take this 96 hours of work and complete it in one or two weeks. You can do it. You are free to work as head or as head or as far back as you want, as fast or as slow as you want, up until this due date of 12-13-2016. When that date hits, everything's off the books, class is over, and we are done. Take your pacing schedule seriously. Make sure you're following it, anything you need from it, and get everything accomplished. All right. Guys, if you have any questions, Logan Phillips, 918-595-7451. Give me a call at 918-688, 918-595-7451. Give me an email at philip or Logan Beery and Phillips1 at tulsacc.edu or come to my office at 2110 at the Northeast Campus. I'm here to help, and always, as Jimmy Buffett says, have a great and very fruitful day. Bye.